In the last topic, we discussed the transient nature of short circuit. Now we will study the Excel formulas we will use because we will encounter a lot of data in our single line diagram. One of those data are impedances in complex numbers and some operations require polar to rectangular coordinates conversion in order to calculate impedances. But don't worry, Excel software will make our calculation a lot easier because it's a powerful tool to compute manually the impedances of an electrical system in case you don't have it up yet, okay? This slide shows us the basic formula we will use for impedance simplification. We will apply Excel formulas for series and parallel impedances. I hope everyone recall this formula in your Circuit 1 and Circuit 2 subjects. Please review it if necessary. With complex numbers involved in impedance simplification, this formula of complex number is useful. The concept of addition and division will be used a lot. Let us use Excel for complex numbers. I have here a sample of Excel file, a resistance of R 2 ohms from column A and a reactance of X 1.5 ohms from column B. Solve for impedance Z. To translate it to complex number using Excel, the formula is equals complex close quantity move cursor to A3 then comma cursor to B3 comma choose the J or I operator with an open and close quotation mark then close quantity. Then you have a complex number of 2 plus 1.5J. Remember that you have to be consistent with J operator or I operator for complex number. Then, when you use J, use it in the entire calculation. Don't mix up or else you will get an error, okay? Let us solve for impedance 1 over C. As you remember, we can also add parallel impedances like resistances with formula of 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus dot 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 plus 1 over Rn. To translate impedance Z to complex number using Excel, the formula is C the point finger equals IMDIB open quantity type 1 then comma move cursor to C3 where you have the impedance Z close quantity enter then you have a complex number of 0 0.32 minus 0 0.24 J now I have here three impedances for a series impedance says C1 Z2 Z3 we need to add all impedances as you can see from column D we have three impedances to find the total impedance we need to add it our Excel formula is with pointed finger equals I am sum open quantity choose D3 comma choose D4 comma D5 close quantity enter you will get 12 plus 10.5 J if you want to add a parallel impedance Z1 Z2 Z3 we have to do the inverse 1 over C of the impedances first before adding them I've done it in column E as you can see. Just type equals I am div open quantity comma D3 so that you can do the inverse. Once all impedance is done with the inverse, we can now add the impedances. The Excel formula is equals I am sum open quantity move cursor to E3 comma E4 comma E5 close quantity enter we have a value of 0 0.55215 minus 0 0.44691 j we need to inverse it to get the impedance ct okay to do that let us use the excel formula c pointing finger equals i am div open quantity type 1 comma move the cursor to e8 close quantity enter We've got 1.0942 plus 0 0.88565J. 
Now to get the absolute value of that impedance which we can use in the calculation of short circuit, the formula that we can use is equals I m abs open quantity, move the cursor to E10, the impedance, close quantity, enter. We've got the value of the absolute impedance Z, 1.4077 ohms. You can just copy the R value and the X value from the complex number. But you can see, we have also Excel formula for that. We can use equals I am real, E10, as you can see from the screen. For the reactance, the Excel formula is equals Imaginary, open quantity, E10, close quantity, enter. If you want to know the angle in degrees of the impedance, the Excel formula is equals degrees, open quantity, I am argument, open quantity, choose E10, close quantity, and close quantity, enter. You've got the angle 38.98 degrees. Now we have an exercise files that I sent it in our group chat. You can download it so that you can use the formula that you have learned in my actual seminar. I just give 9 minutes for participants to do it and 6 minutes bladder break or copy break. The importance of following the exercises is that masasanay ka na when we go farther to the per unit calculation impedances, hindi na mahirap. Okay? So sometimes I'll give them 15 minutes. And I have here some simple impedances diagram of an electrical system as shown are the utility impedance ZU, transformer impedance T1, cable impedances Z1 to Z4, and motor impedances M1 to M3. You will compute for the following. But this is actually an example. So to compute, if you have that kind of impedance diagram, you need to compute for the following equivalent impedance CE1 to CE4. All equivalent impedances are in series, so you can use the series formula of Excel that I already taught a while ago. So use the series Excel formula to do that, okay? And the total impedance of the systems in reference to bus 1, as you can see, is the parallel of impedance CE1 and CE5. To find the total impedance, you need to find CE5 first, which is the parallel of CE2, CE3, and CE4. Once you do that, you can compute for the total impedance. So, this is for now for complex number using Excel formulas. Please practice.